staking so much on the map. Kapag nag-respond ka kay Edward, then suddenly the fight becomes a 5v4. So, ang nangyayari is nilulugin yung Blacklist lahat ng nakakalaban nila pagdating sa trading. So, if re- if, again, if you really want to shut down the Ube strategy, you shut down the hero pool of Edward. Number two, okay, number two, force Wise into an assassin. That's it. <laughs> Kasi hindi nag-uube ang Blacklist kapag assassin si Wise. But they only do that when Wise is playing marksman kasi nakakapag-objective sila. Yeah, but then again, yung game one nga natin, hindi siya complete ube. Oh, so talaga nag evolve yung Blacklist. Yeah. Paano mo habulin yun? Yun yung nakakatakot kasi yung flexibility ni Blacklist dito, this time around sa MSC, lumalabas na. MPL, okay, marami nang isabi. Yeah, yung MPL, they took seven games to evolve. Yeah, di ba? Na parang, oh. okay guys, ang takal magbago ni Blacklist, asa na. Tapos nung pagdating yung playoffs, ah, kaya naman pala mag-adjust, mm-hmm. nakakapaglinga sila, kaya naman pala nilang maglabas sa ibang strategy. Pagdating ng MSC, ang daming bala. May mga hindi pa tayo nakikita, di pa nga natin nakikita ulit yung Digi Feed eh. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Na, nabaon na nga yun eh. Week number one, week number two, yun yung huling presence ng Digi Feed ni Blacklist International. Uh-huh. And even that, it evolved. Hindi na nagiging Digi Feed yung Blacklist International. Ang tawag nila dito, Gold Baby. Uh-huh. Na papantayin si Oheb to the point na pagdating ng, uh, pagdating ng uh, yung wala na yung energy shields, 2,000 gold lead yung gold lead nila. Yep. Oh. Kung may Gold Baby, Si, uh, si Uncle Ezo, si Uncle, ano, uh, Sugar, Sugar Uncle. Sugar Uncle. Uh, Babantay niya lang si Wise, uh-huh. di ba? Pero, again, hindi pa kasi lumalabas. Hindi, ay, ayaw na nilang gawin yun kasi meron na sila sariling style. Ayan, iba pa yan. So, back into the draft. Nako po, ang ganda. Impunity KH, this is not a bad pick. This is a solid pickup, actually. Yeah. First pick, Matilda. Pero ang sagot ng Blacklist, sige, paano mo papasokin yung Eve? Yeah. At saka extra targets with the Popoling Kupa. Amen. Very typical to, no? Yung uh, Matilda answer ng Blacklist International. It's always, oh, wow. It's always the Eve and the Popoling Koopa. Number one, it's really hard to poke the Popolin Koopa as Matilda kasi ang, ang gagawin niyan is habang sinacharge mo yung second skill mo, kinakagit ka na ng aso. Tapos, yung Eve, hindi mo pwedeng ulti yan basta-basta kasi number one, immune siya sa CC. And if you try to bring your teammates towards the area of Eve, kulong kayo sa Relord Manipulation. Pati yeah. makikita natin yung protection na pwedeng ibigay ng Popolin Koopa para dun sa Eve ng Blacklist International. Ilang beses, ilang beses natin nasabi yan, yung vision, yung, uh, yung, yung bite, yung bite and coup pa dito ng uh, Blacklist International which will actually protect kung, kung sa alin magiging uh, tank to kung hindi siya mapup- well possibly mapupunta sa sa Eve or rather kay Umay Venus yung Eve yeah. and then uh, Ethan sa may uh, sa, sa, as a tank ang daming possibility na pwedeng uh, i-protect or maging starter maging initiator or maging initiator to ng Blacklist International oh okay they go for the YSS. I genuinely thought they're gonna go for a Lapu Lapu for Blacklist International. Here. But I understand the YSS. It's good against the uh, the Digi, especially if it's a Digi feed. But I kind of get why they picked up the Digi. You know, this might not be a Digi strat fully for for the side of Infinity Age. Ang ginagawa ni Digi against an Eve is you can get out of the Reload Manipulation. Yep. During the time's journey, pwede kayo maglabaasan lahat. Pero, so, Blacklist International, yun yung ano, yun yung pwede nilang tignan. But then again, this, uh, this, Digi, uh, this Digi strat will only work on those specific moments. Yeah. Wala silang pang-address ng mga side lane, in, uh, side lane intense, uh, pressure intense heroes. It, it's very reactive, don't you think? Parang okay na eh. You have the Granger to answer the, the range issue. Yeah. Pero, kung pipili ka ng Digi para lang mapigilan yung Real world manipulation, your effect non, Luke. So again, even if you're on the blue side, Impurity KH is reacting. Mm-hmm. It's at the point where they're not in charge. They're not setting the pace. Kasi and dami mong isipin para dun sa times journey. Meron ka pang kagat ng aso. Meron ka pang uh, I'm angry. Yeah. First skill. So now into the second phase, parang may, nagre- may reaction ka dito midnight. Alin ang what, what cut try? Uh, I'm not really sure as to why they banned the Pakito and Lapu Lapu. I Edward. get it. It's Edward. He- it's yeah. Edward's heroes. Harith. Oh, oh makakakalusot yung Harith. First Harith. Yeah, I think, pick Harith. Yeah, I oh. think if you're the GH, they're also looking at, they're also eyeing at the Harith pick, knowing na naka-Eve at naka-YSS si Blacklist International. But don't forget, Blacklist gets first pick. Oh, wow! Uh, okay. Lunox sila bigla. Like Lunox. Well, it's a, it's a good pick against Harith. Uh, well, hindi na nila i-flex, so it's probably a, a gold lane Lunox yes. na. Yes, yeah. kailangan nila ng pang-Ruby DD and yeah. White Knight. Siguro yung niisip nila, no? kasi pag nag-Harith sila, Pwedeng i-curveball kasi ng Infinity KH at laro nila yung Lunox. 
or mag-alis si Blacklist and Lunox pa rin si Impurity Cage. So the safer route is just to go for the Lunox. So whatever uh, Impurity Cage gets, even if it's the Harit or the Alice, at least meron kang sagot sa gold lead. And at the same time, it's still it's still teamfight presence against uh, Impurity Cage. And Esmeralda's still out there. Yeah. yeah. Pati, ano, as okay din kasi, kasi ano lang bang kulang ng uh, Impurity Cage dito? Fighter, and also, most of the time, mga frontliners na. Since meron na silang uh, backside. Side, side laners. Yeah, side laners. Oh. Yes. So given the fact na, there's a big possibility is either mag, uh, mag sobrang tanke sila such as Barats pero hindi nila pinik Lunox is also a good safety parang maganda siyang pick for a fourth pick para lang kung sakaling kung ano yung mga missing heroes they ng Fury Cage it. yeah they can flex it they can uh, also turn down or take down all those tanky heroes ng Fury Cage so that leaves a hero for Edward yeah it's Barats we're, yeah. we're still wondering for yung, sure yung Barats na hindi yeah, for yep. sure it's gonna be Barats. Uh, again, I, I kind of like Blacklist International telegraphing the Alice and Harith pick with the Lunox. What uh, what caught my eye is the pick ng uh, Impurity KH dito, no, yung Hayabusa. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good against the Eve, it's good against YSS, but where do you actually place it? Because if you try placing it on the gold lane, yes, fine, makakaya niya makalane si Lunox, uh -huh. but the problem is the pop and Kuba. Yeah, and ito na naman, meron naman tayong oh, X, wow. XP lane Alice na naman to, kung ganun nga. Diba? And explain Alice was was uh, always interesting, except for when when uh, who played it. He was he was legend earlier. Uh, yeah. That was the only time na parang okay gana siya. Pero kasi yon pedal to the metal yon. Mm -hmm. So this time this this gives Impurity KH an ultimatum. Oi, bisilang. Oi, bisilang. Bisilang. Kasaman force yung ano yung electric punch. <laughs> Galit ka. Sinugut ka agad eh. Nakayos bolt. Bisilang. All right. So that being said, let's try to wrap up this draft again. Ma re recap dito ang ating mga heroes. Una, blue side, Impunity KH. They pick up the Diggy, the Matilda, the uh, Granger, the Alice, and the Hayabusa. At sa side naman ng Blacklist International, Popol and Koopa, Yisun Shin, Eve, Lunox, at syempre Thumbs. Last pick Thumbs mo na to. This is yeah. for Edward. Oh, yeah. for para kay Edward. So tingin ko, this will be a Alice and a Thumbs matchup na sobrang lumalamang kaagad dito si Thumbs. No. Level 1 pa lang, Molten Sights. Pwede niya ah, yes, push back yes, 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 si Alice. Yes, baliktad pala yung perspective ko kanina. So, hindi sila nag, ano, yung, yung juggle. Kasi usually ginagawa yun, di ba? Parang, parang magkaroon ng magandang matchup. Yeah. Yung uh, side laner mo, you try to do the juggle and you do mind games. Pero right now, mukhang nahanap nila yon TY, medyo papasama yata. So yeah, this is fine. I mean, it is a diggy strategy. You can Ooh. expect that. Pero mukhang si Senpai din yata. Hmm. Ang hirap, nice ang hirap, ano, ang hirap labanan nito, YSS na Stiggy Fit ka. Nakita natin to actually, uh, I think yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday when, uh, I think that was IDNS that hmm. pulled it off against YSS. Yes, ma ma madedelay mo yung YSS, pero at the same time, si YSS kasi okay lang din sa kanya na nadidiggy fit siya. Kasi umaabot siya sa point. Oh, wow! Wow, OP. Off cam almost. I believe that was a combination of uh, shadow kill and, no, ah, sorry, uh, quad shadow. Yeah. Umikot, quad shadow, tapos biglang nabigla si Ohem. Oh, binaligan siya, uh -huh. sana all. And anyway, <laughs> Black <laughs> Inter whoa, whoa. International. Uh, again, going back to sa sinasabi ko kanina, no? madedelay si Wise dito, but it's fine for them because this is still a YSS. What they can do later on is group up. Pero naku po, pinatay, double kill pa for the Diggy! Wait, so nakakill yung Diggy. Reset so, kagad. meron siyang worth right now. So, yung bawi dito ni Amal yeah. Eson, it's worth it, pero yun nga eh. Ang napatay kasi dalawa eh. Yung VYs pa! Tsaka, this is bad kasi yung gold niya bumawi and at the same time, he has a kill streak. Remember yung kill streak ng Mobile Legends Bang Bang binaba ng 2. Uh -huh. Hindi na 3 yung kailangan 2. May additional 40 gold si Wise dyan pag pinatayin niya next time si A. So, A, ay, si A, si TY. Uh -huh. So, baka mailang si TY dito. Grabe, nire-reset na naman. Kanina nare-reset niya yung purple buff again. Nire-reset niya yung yeah. watch buff. Sinusubukan niyang patayin actually si, ano, si Wise. And no? I think he might actually get it almost. Buti na lang, mayroon pang uh, kuha doon sa may uh, minions and of course the bounty hunter. And off camera, that's a kill on Edward. Binisita siya ni White Knight. With the rotation from White Knight talaga, ito yung kailangan gawin ng Impunity KH to control the aggression of Blacklist International. TYY, okay lang kahit ma-reset yung buhay niya, basta mawala agad yung purple buff dito ni Wise, which is also a really wise decision sa side ng Impunity KH. Pero ang kailangan lang nilang gawin dito, okay na na si TYY na lang yung nagpapakamatay, yung nag-feed. So, you have the information, meron kang paraan para makita mo kung ano yung movements ng Blacklist International, and that's why they are really confident na makakuha agad ng free, uncontested Lord dito sa side ng Impunity KH. So, yeah. still, okay pa rin. Kaso ang kailangan lang iwasan dito ng Impunity KH is yung ibang members naman yung makakuha ng pick-off. Kasi, 
almost my information ko na kung nasan yung mga core eh. So, you need to play safely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the problem right now for Impunity KH. Hindi na ganong effective yung Diggy Feet. Even though, tinatry pa rin ni TY yung kanyang best para i-reset yung mga jungle buffs with the Tenacity. He is tanky enough to force Blacklist International to at least put two heroes on guard para makapag-farm si Wise. But then again, the economic battle is in the, uh, on the side of Blacklist International and lalo mong pinapalaki yung space na nakukuha oh! ni Wise. And there's a nice, I'm angry, bite, I don't know, we're angry, bite. Underneath turret pa, medyo napalalim yata si OP doon. Susunod yata si White Knight. Ang sagot niya, Cyclone Eye plus Death Sonata. Mabubuhay pa naman siya. So far, I think uh, the, the Diggy Feed strategy, yes, nawawalan na siya ng efficiency. Pero Vision Game, still on Impunity KH. Parang mas malinis pa rin yung galaw nila and they can confirm objectives. But just the same, yung mga kill like that on, on OP just now, parang lugi sila dun eh. Yeah. Ano na, nauubos si Orsi Black kasi kumbaga hindi nila magawa yung uh, ube na gusto nila mangyari. But then again, this is a YSS. Oh! Gusto naman ng YSS mag-farm. Ganda nung real world manipulation ni Oh My Venus. Oh! oh! Pero pa wait, kasi nga na-circling so, eagle siya ni Senpai. Ang layo nun, na maximum range yata yun. But now, let's switch up. Edward gonna face Senpai and White oh! Knight. Kahit na nakakotter ang Inferno siya, kinurang Grabe Senpai naman. with the burst. Is soul bloom talaga every single time na nakapag-charge, masabi si makakakuha ng kill. At hindi yun yung ginagawang momentum ng Impunity KH. Alam nila na okay, sige, nasa atin yung Matilda. We need to play really aggressively habang si TY Y naman yung gumagawa ng nagpo-provide sa atin ng information. So it was a good movement at nagkaroon din tayo ng unting transition when it comes to uh, the momentum. Almost close yung net worth nila pero unti-unti nang umaangat ang Impunity KH na nakakakuha na sila ng opportunity to occupy and also invade the jungle area yeah. of Blacklist. Me medyo in-underestimate din yung know, wise damage output ni Matilda. No? Uh, do take note, uh, mage, ano to? mage Matilda. No? So, mm -hmm. yung damage output ni Senpai will be off the charts this game kasi makakuha siya ng magic damage item. Napakaganda nung pag-take down nila kay Edward on the bottom lane. Yep, they were going all in. I think this is shades of uh, Evo's Legends. Uh, trademark squeeze. Mm -hmm. Ang ginagawa ng Impunity KH, given that they have uh, map presence, sinisqueeze nila yung blacklist. Yeah. Lalo na dehado si Wise. I mean, he's sitting at 7-2-5, but it's mostly <laughs> on TY as a thing. So, mm -hmm. yun, hit up si Wise. This is not as good a farm. Let's look at the items here. Pero nakahabol ah. Even though Lug is the XP, the, the gold is actually... Uh, pretty close. Yeah, pretty close against the Granger. Although yung Hunter Strike patapos na, yung BOD rin naman. Isang libo na lang para kay Wise madali nang patayin yung Diggy kahit pa naka, naka tenacity siya rito yeah. kasi based na sa HP percentage yung proc yung Blade of Despair. Parang ano, uh, Oathkeeper ni uh, Leo Mord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's gonna be easier to, to stop TY. Right now, parang medyo nakakasal pa si TY eh. Pero pag nabuo yan, Blade of Despair. Hindi ko ihinto na sa oh, pagiging feeling Diggy. Mag-iisip na si TY. Oh. Oh, Mag-iisip na siya. Pati may kita natin, ready, ready na rin yung ano, Impunity KH for late game purposes eh. Nag, nag, uh, well, kaya siya nag-tenacity compared to pull yourself together. So, controlled pa rin. Kung baga, kailangan na nila ma makuha agad or ma-delay yung power spike dito ni, uh, ni Wise. Pero unfortunately, with the rotation from Blacklist International, kahit hindi siya ube, kahit hindi siya support uh, centric composition, sumasabay pa rin sila eh. So, ang hinihintay ng Blacklist International dito is yung magkamali yung Impunity KH. Yes, hindi sila, sila nakakuha ng mga tier 1 turrets except for the top 1. Pero kapag nagkamali, parang binibigyan lang nila ng opportunity yung Impunity KH na maging confident na pumasok kayo kaagad. Yeah. Pero kapag nanalo ng isang skirmish dito or isang team fight ang Blacklist International, do my key things noble factor nila. Ooh, yeah, Shadow Kill here trying to save himself. Order Brilliance. Oh it's my goodness! It's enough! It's a trade one for one! That was close though. Muntik! Grab is the OP! Kanina pa to! OP is OP. OP is OP. From 10 o'clock. Kanina pa umaga, OP si OP. Grabe, ganda nung ano yung ganda kasi yung, nung ginawa niya. No? Nagtago siya sa damo, tapos ginamit niya yung first kill niya para mapababa yung HP ni Oheb. Now, of course, Oheb, gusto niya gamitin yung Order of Brilliance na naka-timing dun sa Shadow Kill. Pero ang mali ni Oheb is dinikita niya pa si, uh, si Hayabusa paglabas niya ng Brilliance at na-execute siya. Mm -hmm. Kasi may patong pa yung charge eh. Meron din kasing additional damage din yung Order of Brilliance eh, bukod dun sa invulnerability. So, tingin ko, uh, tingin ko Oheb, nagkaroon siya ng unting miscalculation. Uh, nung pagkapatay niya, yun din yung time na nakakuha siya ng Lightning Truncheon. So, kung, sig kung siguro nakuha niya yung Lightning Truncheon na mas maaga, there's a big possibility na, maku na makuha niya yung kill na yun. Yeah, but wait, while we're talking about that whole situation up top, medyo napasamay ata si Boom. 
That was the first kill on him in a while, but right now, shadow kill by OP. Papasok oh, wow. muna, in out, in out. Mini iwan siya dong isang shadow. Backline, patay si TY. Close, but not quite. I think Impunity KH, parang, guys, this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Hindi pa namamatay dito si White Knight. Pero mukhang maabawi ng Blacklist International. Senkai gets blasted. So does this tier 1 turret. Ngayon, Blacklist International, I think they have a better gri gra gri uh, grasp, grip of uh, this game. Alam mo, feeling ko sinasabi ng Blacklist. Okay na guys, nakalagpon sa tayo si Diggy. Okay na. Mm -hmm. eh, finish na to. Oh, wag, na, wag na ulitin. Wag na yung mamaya. Wag na yung, yung kanina. Yung lamang ni White Knight, kay Wise, 100 gold. 100 gold. 100 gold. Lamang ng Blacklist ngayon, kay Imperity KH, 3,000 gold. It's spread out, I think. It's spread out. It's, it's better, I think, here for uh, Blacklist. Looking at this head-to-head, -head, uh, see uh, off-lane, see OP. Yan. Mm -hmm. OP versus uh, Edward. No, actually, that's uh, Boom. That's, that's Boom, yeah. Boom versus Edward. You saw the numbers there, ladies and gentlemen. Circling Eagle here by Senpai. Real population. Sasa got the Oh My Venus taking down the Diggy. And here we go. They want to go round two. Boom comes in. Nice old. Tatlo. Apat yata ang nasan. Kasama yung aso. And they regret it. Boom. Nice. Sustain. And they back out. Parang kulang in both sides. Wow. Ang, ang ganda ng, ano doon, ng, uh, ng preparation ng Blacklist International na capitalist nila yung area. Again, sobrang importante kung saan ka lalaban dito sa side ng, uh, ng Impunity KH. Na force out nila. Ayaw na ayaw nila yung mga, or, or rather, Blacklist International. Gustong gusto ng Impunity KH yung mga choke, yung mga choke area. Bakit? Dahil nung kay Boom. Sa Blood Oath, Blood Oath combo niya. At mas mabadali sila makakuha ng kills with the Rhapsody. Pero okay. ginagawa ng Blacklist International. Tumakas oh! siya agad. OP. Favorite ni OP si Oheb. Oo. Oh. Pareho okay. siya ng O. Oh. 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 Oheb and Sige. OP. Yun ang magiging target. Sige. Sige. Pero, <laughs> napakalupet ng positioning dito. Pero as I was saying, going back positioning, yun ang magiging key ng Impunity Cage oh for them to win this fight. Oh my God, OP. Overextension sa side ng Blacklist International. Mm -hmm. Tingin ko, ano talaga eh, they need to keep an eye kung saan yes, sinalaban. Yes, and, and, and Edward, he's, he's a great Tams, but not in this situation. Parang kumahabol siya dito parati. Yeah. Oo. Oh. Alam mo, sa so, toto lang, kailangan nilang, ano, kailangan nilang yung focus na si OP. Hindi pwedeng yung uh, Hayabusa yung nakakapag-start ng key fight. OP once again, jumping in. Oh my God! Confirmed Lord take here, plus a double for OP. May bawe, yeah, but it's only on the Diggy. He's meant to die. Pero dito si Oheb, ang paghiganti Ooh. ng Api. White Knight tumakbo na. Flicker in by Oheb. Ladies and gentlemen, four for three. In comes OP. This is round three. The OP versus Oheb matchup. Ngayon si OP naman ang back out. So take that as a win. Sabi ni OP, bahala ka dyan. Hindi ko tutungin sa inyong record ko. Hindi kaya, hindi kaya. Bahala ka. Anong maniac? Triple kill lang, Lods. Okay na yun. Okay na yun. Versus Oheb at MSC 2021. Pero men, grabe. You have to give credit to this Hayabusa. Of course. Siya talaga yung nagiging malaking problema sa leeg ng Blacklist International. Problema sabi ko. Tinig dapat. Tinig sa leeg ng Blacklist International. Look at this. After Makuwe Lord, napakalaki ng damage output na binigay ni OP. And at the same time, yung pag-weather ng HP or ng... ng buhay ng Blacklist International, yun yung nagiging, ano, yun yung nagiging major factor bakit nananalo sa teamfight, yung Impunity Cage. Again, napaka-importante yung resources ng HP. Oh no, si Edward, mapapasama na naman. Kulang siya ng targets eh. They're, they're spacing him out so he couldn't lifesteal off of the Continent Inferno as much. He gets picked off here. Pero at least nandepensahan nila yung Tier 2 sa taas. Ang ganda ng pagkakatransition din dito ni OP. Well, si White Knight kakakuha nila ng kanyang BOD. So, nako, mas masakit lalo ang mga Rhapsody Plus. The Death Sonata. And sabi mo na natin kanina, isa sa mga heroes na mahilig bumili ng Hunter Strike. So with the mobility na binibigay nitong Hunter Strike and the armor penetration, Wise, kailangan niya lalong sumiksik sa loob ng, uh, ng box ng Blacklist International. Kasi pag hindi siya sumiksik, it's a, it is a good opportunity for OP to secure that kill. Makakuha siya ng high and dry na, na proc, yung 6% additional. Kaya sobrang importante. Pinipressure lang ng Impunity Cage dito na, okay, gusto niyo yung ube, mag-ube kayo. Pero kapag hindi kayo nag-ube, doon namin kayo papanish. Yeah, ano, the Ubi Ultimatum. Ubi Ultimatum. Wait lang ah, Circling Eagle muna dito ni Senpai. Hitting Edward. Kapasama. O, oh, parang mali, mali timing. Out muna, out muna, out muna. Mamaya ulit, mamaya ulit. Mamaya Walang purple si Wise. Wise, papasok dito. Traceless sa mukha ni TY. Back out. Okay. Alam nila na wala pa masyadong pwede oh, gawin. Ah, ang Impunity KH. Hahabulin nila si Boom. Boom na Boom. Looking for one more. Here we go. Oh! oh MTT takes down the Alice. Ladies and gentlemen, a pick-off for Blacklist International.
final and they will continue the assault here. Nanakawan nila ng purple si White Knight. Ninakawan nyo kami. Nanakawan din namin kayo ng purple, sabi mata dito ng Black Knight. Mata sa para sa mata. <laughs> Sige. Isipin, sangipin. Isang malaking problema actually ng Black Knight International, again, napag-usapan natin to during draft to, yung mobility kasi. Yung solution nila against the real-world manipulation, hindi malaking factor si Oh My Venus against Impurity Gage kasi lahat sila kayang lumabas dyan with the time's journey oh, and oh, yung self-mobility oh, ni Hayabusa. Oh, 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 OP cornered! Let's see where he's gonna go! Shadow kill! Para mawala sa mapa, tira natin kakagitin pa dyan ni Oeson. Sabi ni Wise, tama na plus the Queen's Wings. Yung sagot, yung sagot dun sa Hayabusa, yeah. lumabas after niya patingin yung Hayabusa. <laughs> para, para maramdaman niya. Oh. Pagkatapos ng Shadow King, biglang ano na lang eh. <laughs> Pangkain na lang agad eh. Sabi ni, ano, ni Venus, guys, kanina pa itong Hayabusa. Ito, tara limahin na natin. Oh. Bad trip na ako. Yeah, here we go. Wait lang. From the backside, papasok. Kukuni mo nila yung tier 1. But, Masakit. here we go. Oh, Heb! DY! Malubuhay pa. Nauna si Senpai. White Knight with the Sonata starting up. Shades of Fursic from early on. Ang pasok niya Sonata. Pero, it's just enough to push them back out. I think it's safe to say Blacklist International back in the driver's seat. Yeah, they're in, they're in, they're in complete control right now, Leo. Sabi ni, ano, sabi ng, ng Blacklist International dito, pinasarap lang. Mm, <laughs> pinasarap gusto lang. Oh. Gusto pa. Ito si Yohoib, sabi niya, <laughs> they binigyan lang katang 3 kills, di na maulit yun. <laughs> yun na yun. <laughs> yun, yun, yun. yun. Tingnan natin ito, ano, death, yung death counter ni Yohoib. Pag ito naging 4, Actually, 4 na si Anne, si OP. So, so na si technically, OP. lamang. Oh, uh, Lagpanalo na si Oheb. Okay. Let's see. Luminous Lord up. First one went over to Impunity. Paano kaya ito uh, isi-secure ng Blacklist International map? is getting small for Impunity KHQ. Uh, TYY, dito. Kakagatin ni Uncle Eson. Back out na. So, time's journey. Oh, out of the question. Boom. Right Oheb. in the middle. Oh. Real population set in here by Oh My Venus. Papatingin mo na si Oheb. Nako, even na sila. 1-1. <laughs> Boom from the back lines. Let's see. Cotter Inferno put in by Edward. Hinahabo niya si White Knight. <laughs> Wait lang. Pop ni Mortality. Let's see. Saan niya papasabugin? Oh, White Knight dashes out. But Edward will not be able to... Oh! No, Edward. Pero papasa niya dito si Ty. But oh, si si White Knight sayang. Nakalagpas pa tol. Umii ka ikan to matak pusi White Knight. Buti na na umpog. Yung aso ni Leo kailangan ng gamot. Galit galit yung aso ni Leo. Hindi aso ni Eso yun. Yung aso ni Eso. Popolin kupa na to. Oh, oh, popolin kupa na to. Love you rough. Pero gusto ko na sabihin, medyo masakit yung para kay Edward. Nauntog pa siya. Yeah. Isang kalmot na lang eh. Isang molten sight na lang. Isang trigger lang. Isang click oh, lang. Actually, kahit nga yung proc lang nung Chris Helmet eh. Exactly. Para kayo na si Granger dun eh. Oh. Okay lang. I think it's fine. We have to recover. And I think Blacklist, they have to recover. Kaya, kaya pa. Labang Pinas. Oh, they, Walang kabayas-bayas. Blacklist, kaya nyo na. If they consider that a loss, ano yun? Morally draining yun eh. Oh, Di ba? Sa moral yun. So, tama. dapat balik. Para okay lang guys. Sige lang. Magre-reset naman itong mga cooldown natin. Back to the, ano, back to focus muna tayo. Focus tayo sa objective natin, Lord. Yup. Ito maganda yung ginagawa ng Black Ops International, no? Uh, tinitira nila yung Lord, pinapatanog nila. Para kapag nakita ni Eson, lalaban yung Impurity Gage, ready sila mag-reset. So, yun yung purpose nung ginagawa nila pag-spread out. Pero, nag-i-stay pa rin si Omay Venus. Doon sa may dot, uh, dot bush. Para pag nag-engage yung Impurity Gage, automatic uh, usage of Reload Manipulation. Oh! Pero, mayroon na kagad si Boom! Boom, kinagat! Not enough to save him with the time's journey! TYY, papapunin! Oh, pumutok! Oh, Heb! So Pinasabog sa mukha! Oh, Heb! DD play one more time! Pero si Edward, sabi nila, guys, defend mo na ako dito. Grabe! Ko lang. Todo, ko lang. todo buhat si OP, oh. Yeah. XP, ano yun, ah? Uh, gold lane yan. Mm -hmm. Nagbubuhat. Pati may kita mo talaga yung ano eh, you know? yung, uh, yung Blacklist International. Tagang humahabol. Pag nahuli ka nila ng isang beses, pag namarkahan kayo ng isa, ilista mo. No. Ililista, mo na, ililista nila yung pangalan mo sa may Deadlist Timer. Oh. Pero Ayun OP... Na. Started up with the Shadow Kill. Oh! Not enough! Pero wala rin mga kagat. Real Walang takbuhan! Saka pupunta OP! Bawal ninja dito! dito Take it down by Wise! Iniwan nila yung Lord. Pinasamay nila doon sa top lane. Mid goes down. Here we go. Senpai, papasok ni Wise. Kinulang na isang trigger. But ladies and gentlemen, game number two. There's a sweep. Blacklist International takes the series. Pinainit lang. Pinasarap. Pinasarap.